Hello, uh, my name is Tim Hewish. Um, my beloved brother Peter uh, asked me to make this video um, because he felt something through what I shared uh, last, week, last Sunday service in Hatchan, North London. Um, the reason I shared was because I've been feeling for several months now the importance of opening my heart in, in the way that you wanted me to open my heart. Not from my point of view, but from Heavenly Father's point of view. Because ultimately, when it comes down to it, our own viewpoint really, it, it's nothing. And I felt that really strongly, that whatever point of view I have, if it's my point of view, then from Heavenly Father's point of view, from True Father's point of view, it's, it's kind of doesn't help very much. So what I want to do is to, to be free, to allow God's Spirit to touch my heart and to touch other people's hearts. And that's why I shared what I shared uh, last Sunday. Um, the foundation of it is that um, for the last uh, few months I've been going through inner turmoil where I, I wasn't feeling happy about this movement I'm part of. I didn't feel happy about the whole movement. About I, I had a feeling towards true parents which has made me uncomfortable. I had a feeling towards the true family which made me feel uncomfortable. I had a, fe a feeling about the whole movement, which made me feel uncomfortable. And I couldn't get rid of this uncomfortable feeling. And it came to a point where I kind of lost my faith. I actually felt I no longer followed this movement in my heart. I didn't feel comfortable with true parents, or with a true family, or with the movement. I felt, in a way, angry that somehow the spirit I had originally, the spirit that guided me, toward this movement was no longer in my heart anymore. Um, I've, I came to this movement because of Jesus. I had a spiritual experience with Jesus I will never forget. I love Jesus and it was because of my love for Jesus that I could meet true parents. It's because of my love for Jesus that I was guided to this movement. But it came to this point, I think, a few months ago, where I had to make my own decision. It was no longer the spirit world pushing me. The spirit world had to leave me alone and say, what do I really believe? It came to the point where I didn't believe in true parents anymore. I didn't believe in the true family, because what I could see in the true family made me feel the words of Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. And what I could see the fruits of true parents was like chaos. I could really see that, that everything was chaos. However, even though I felt I kind of left God, I left true parents, I left in my heart the whole principle, something inside my mind said, the principle is true. Even though I tried to be an atheist, I couldn't. I couldn't leave Father, I couldn't leave God. Because in my heart of hearts, I know God is real. I know God is leading me. I know that my life belongs to Jesus. My life belongs to true parents. My life belongs to God. So whatever I try to give up, God will always bring me back. And in, a, in some point, I did give up true parents. I gave up following true parents in my heart. But I didn't give up on Jesus. So my Jesus called me back. And he kept saying to me, come back to true parents. Jesus begged me in his heart. So, I could not not go back to true parents, but I couldn't do it without first fighting with true parents. I had to shout at true parents in prayer. This lasted over several nights. I was fighting with the spirit world. I was asking God, what do you want me to do? And I actually challenged true parents. Are you really the Messiah? And this happened over several, several nights. And it came to the point where I had this, this thought came to my heart. I think it was through Jesus. This thought came to me. You have to repent. I have to repent to true Father. Because in my prayer over several nights, I had just shouted bad things to Father. All these bad things I'd thrown at Father, which was unjustified. 
Because I don't know what Father's been through. I don't know the, the course that Father's had to endure. Just from my own physical mind, my own petty physical mind, it looks like I can just tear the whole church up and disagree with it. But when I think about it in prayer, I realised I, realized I had to repent. So, facing True Father's picture, over the period of two nights, I repented in tears. I said to Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I rejected you. I'm sorry I rejected the True Family. I'm sorry I rejected everything I believed in. I cannot be an atheist. I cannot be not a member, because I belong to you. And I said that to Father, please guide me. I'm sorry. So after two nights of repentance and prayerful, tearful repentance, there came a point where I felt Father actually forgave me. It was like I got this peaceful feeling. I didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve to be forgiven my Father because of all the rubbish I'd thrown to him in prayer. But then I said to Father, OK, what shall I do? And over the next few nights, spiritually, I saw Father in ways I couldn't believe. I saw Father lying prostrate. Father was lying as if he'd been killed or knocked over in spirit. And then other times I saw Father, his Father's face was so red, he was so angry. And I wasn't sure, is Father angry at me? Is Father lying down prostrate because of what I've done? I don't know. But then I kept saying to Father, what shall I do? What shall I do, Heavenly Father? What shall I do, True Father? What do you want me to do? How can I help? And Father said to me, watch Hunchin's videos. Father didn't say it in an aggressive way. It was quietly, gently. Watch Hunchin's videos. So I said to Father, I can't do that. Because I know that Hunchin is a persona non grata. He's been kicked out of the palace. Together with Kuchinim. Mother kicked him out. So how can I do that? And Father said to me, again, quietly, watch Hunchin's videos. I felt quite uncomfortable about that, because I felt there's something wrong about that. If I watch Hunchin's videos, I will be doing something wrong. But I swallowed this feeling, because Father told me. I felt I needed a lot of courage, but eventually I did. I looked for Two Rivers VIP, and it didn't exist anymore. So then I did a search on, on Google for Hunchin. And it came to a very strange website. I thought, this is really strange, peculiar. It was Philadelphia Sanctuary Church. But the word sanctuary also touched my heart. I thought, that's what I'm looking for. I need a sanctuary, somewhere I can belong. And then as I started watching Hinchin's videos, I felt my heart was moved. Especially when I watched Hinchin's talk about uh, ending the silence. I realised that Hunchinim had been holding on to this feeling in his heart for three years. And as I watched his videos, I started to realise all these things started to make sense. All these bad feelings I had towards True Father and True Mother all made sense. The bad feelings I had towards True Father weren't my own. The feelings I had towards True Father came because there was a lot of evil forces at work trying to destroy Father's work. And then I realised, oh, the uh, eight great textbooks that Father spoke about as being something that should not be touched were actually being touched. As Sun Jim said, these eight great textbooks should not be fiddled with. But that's exactly what the World Church has been doing. And then I was led to watch Father's sermons, or read Father's sermons, especially the one about um, in was it June 2010. Uh, June the 5th, 2010, or June the 6th, where Father actually spoke about who his successor is. Father said very clearly, my successor is my youngest son, Hyung Jin Nim. And anybody who tries to be another inheritor is actually, I forget what Father said, but it was kind of quite strong. Anyway, it made me realise that Father wants everybody to follow Hyung Jin Nim. And if somebody else stands as a... Um, a successor to true parents, what they're doing is wrong because they're leading people the wrong way. And I realised it's exactly what True Mother was doing. That is why I had an uncomfortable feeling in my heart towards True Mother for the last few years. I didn't want this feeling. I wanted to love Mother because I love Mother. 
You will not believe how many pictures of Mother I have stashed away, hidden away, because I love looking at True Mother, especially the older pictures, my Mother looks so beautiful. I feel I can lose myself in Mother, because she's my Mother. But when I discovered what is happening, I not only felt upset with Mother, or angry, I also felt very sad, because I realised that Mother is no longer free to do what she wants, because she's, as it were, embraced by a lot of evil forces. And I'm sure that Mother does not want to disunite with Father. But when Mother tells everybody that she's the only begotten son, oh sorry, the only begotten daughter of God, I realise that's exactly not what Father said. Father said, he raises up Eve. Father said that he takes responsibility to raise up Mother, to, to, to raise Mother to perfection. He never said that Mother was perfect, but by Mother declaring herself as being the only begotten daughter of God, that is in defiance to what Father said. So I can either follow Mother, or I can follow Father. One makes the other a liar. That's as simple as that. And in my heart, I don't want to say that Mother's a liar, but I can see the World Church, by following Mother, are going against what Father taught. They are defying Father's uh, proclamation or declaration. Father's declaration is being defiled as we speak. It's so sad, but this is what I've discovered through Huntington videos. I desperately hope and pray that brothers and sisters throughout the world will understand that Huntington does not want to form schism. Huntington loves his mother so deeply. Huntington loves true parents so deeply. And we should all love true parents. We should love father and mother. We should see in our minds father and mother coming together. We should bring true parents together. Because this is the responsibility of a child. If the father and mother are fighting, the child's responsibility is to bring them together. To say, Mummy and Daddy, stop fighting. You should love each other. I know her from experience because my own parents were divorced. So I know what it's like to have a father and mother who are fighting each other. Children don't like that. Children want their parents to be together. Children never want parents to be divorced. They always want their father and mother to be together. And I think that's what Hengen is trying to do. Hengen is trying to bring father and mother together. That's it. Thank you.